Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. Welcome to another Sunday Stata tip. Today I'm going to show you how to make lag and lead variables in Stata. And to do that, I've pulled in this fictional blood pressure data. In this fictional blood pressure data, we've got some patients and they've got a before and after reading. And each time period has a blood pressure reading. And what I want to do first is I want to generate a lag variable. So what I want to say is I want this 143 to appear in the next row. Or alternatively, I want this row to also have last period's blood pressure reading. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to generate a lag BP variable. And that's going to be BP. And then I'm going to do a square bracket underscore N, which tells Stata, okay, look at the current row we are in, minus one. So it's going to look one row back. So I can run that and then I can see that it worked. This 143 went here, this 153 went here and so on and so forth all the way down the data. Now, maybe I want the before rows to also include the lead BP. So I want the blood pressure for the after period also in the before row. I can do that very similarly. I'm just gonna say lead BP equals BP square bracket underscore N plus one. And that will do the lead. Now note that I did minus one, but you could do minus whatever. You could have a lag two, a lag three, which is a minus two, minus three. You could have a lead two, a lead three, where it's plus two, plus three, any sort of number you want. I'm just doing minus one because it's easy. All right, so you can see that this patient ID here is different. This is a two versus a one, but because we just did a blatant lag, we pulled this 153 over to the next row, even though these are different patients. So maybe we don't necessarily want that. So maybe we're going to add if patient in the current row, which is our patient ID, make sure that's an N, that's got to be equal, and we're double equals to the patient ID or the subject ID in the last row. So I only want to make this lag if we are in the same patient. So I'm going to reread in the data. You can see now that this 153 does not carry over because these patient IDs are not the same. I can do the same thing for our lead variable. I'll just copy and paste. Note that this needs to be a plus one because we're a lead and we can regenerate this. And you can see now we only generate this lead variable if we are in the same patient. So hopefully this makes flags and leads make a little more sense. If it did, make sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time for another Sunday Stata tip here on In Case of Econ Struggles.